happy Monday. <laughs> Such a juxtaposition from last week to today. Oh my gosh. So as you know now, I have a French Bulldog, which I'm very excited and very blessed about. Um, but my... <laughs> I was saying at the beginning of last week, I love my new routine. It's great. Now I have to create a whole new routine. <laughs> it's actually proving to be rather difficult. Um, I know it's only been a couple of days, but I mean, we're working on it. Um, it's funny because like I was getting up at four and I would make a coffee and I have a little bit of biscotti and then I would come to HQ and I would set things up. I would turn on the laptop, go in back to the kitchen, make breakfast, watch Judge Judy. And now you just don't know what to do because now there's like potty training involved. So I wake up in the morning and I'm like, gotta go, gotta go. And like I'll make an espresso really quick and like I'm walking the dog and I'm trying to drink my coffee and it's like raining and like, oh, anyways. You know what? I understand it's a growing pain. It's just flexing my schedule, but it's just been, I don't know, it's just funny. One week ago today, I'm like, great schedule, I love it. Now it's all about new schedule. Don't really love it, trying to figure it out. Okay, so real talk. So having a dog has been great. <laughs> it's definitely thrown a wrench into my scheduling and my training. Um, I need to remember like why I've created these vlogs and obviously it's to document and record everything, but also document and record like how I'm feeling and my training leading up to competition for next year. So being very transparent and very honest, I'm having a hard time, I'm struggling. I am struggling. Um, not because I don't wanna work out, but because I do, I just feel tired. I don't know, I can't explain it. I feel like <sighs> the fire is still there, but it's hard to stay motivated because I just want to like, relax or I just want to sleep. Um, I've been working with my coach, been looking at food. Diet has been a little bit on the hard side, at least to be 100% compliant. Cause I just, it's funny because like I'm struggling to work out. I'm not getting the best workouts in or the, the <laughs> not getting the, the most like, oh, <laughs> I know you stay here. He just ate, so we're trying to keep him calm because I don't want any accidents, especially on the floor in HQ. Um, I'm really hungry and I'm not sure if it's, because, it's just weird because I am working out, maybe not as often or maybe not at the right intensity that I should be working out at, but like I'm hungry throughout my workouts, I'm hungry after my workouts and um, food has gone up this week, so I am feeling better. I am feeling better. Now it's just a matter of like adding in the workouts with the cardio every day, with abs, with him, going for walks, training him. Uh, it's just a lot, it's a lot, but I'm staying optimistic, I'm staying hopeful, I'm doing my best to stay focused, and I just need to keep just grinding. Really, that's what it is. No excuses, never an excuse, just an observation, and me being honest and sharing with you. Right, Henry? Of course. Still very excited, still very eager about the goal that I have. Uh, working hard towards it, just with a couple of bumps in the road along the way. So in the evenings, I give Henry a bit of a wipe down just to make sure his feet are clean because he sleeps in the bed with me. And mid bath, dry bath, this is, this is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> totally, totally asleep. I use these products. I have jumbo eye wipes, which are unscented, and I use around his mouth and his eyes. And then I use this one here, the jumbo ear wipes, which smell really good. And I um, wipe his ears out with that. I was given this, it's a waterless pet shampoo. And what I do, I spray it on a paper towel and I just rub it into the fur and it smells like tea tree oil. It smells so good. And it leaves him feeling and smelling extra fresh. So then I don't mind him sleeping in the bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> doing my cardio and just got back from the vet with Henry so I thought I would document to share how that went I was gonna record while I was there but it just it wasn't the, like the right place or right time to film anything also my hands were full with a like, paperwork and his leash and the whole shebang when I got Henry my priority was to uh, get him into the vet Obviously just for like a wellness check just to make sure everything's okay. I had all his like his vaccine passport. Haha, <laughs> funny with COVID. 
I called around to different vet clinics in the area, as well as the same one that my German Shepherd goes to, and all the vets are fully booked until October, like end of October, and I'm like, that's cool, but I need him looked at right now, because I want to go ahead and enroll him for his pet insurance. I found a vet very close to me, like walking distance close, that could take me today. So walked down, well, drove down. <laughs> drove down and uh, he went for his appointment and everything's good. Uh, he has a good bill of health. I had questions about his ears because they're not standing up on his own and doing more research, I'm seeing that there's other French Bulldogs younger than Henry and their ears are already up. I'm learning more and more that the ears of a Frenchie have a mind of their own and uh, he still has a full set of baby teeth. So the calcium in the dog is going to the growth of his adult teeth and not so much the ears. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he's just a late bloomer and when his adult teeth start coming in, his ears will lift. We'll see, we'll see. I got his flea and tick medication, he's taking it, stayed down. I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling optimistic. The vet bill was not scary at all. I totally anticipated it to be super crazy. Again, knock on wood, that I'm not gonna have any issues uh, or having to take him to the vet anytime soon. I'm feeling good, I'm happy, I'm happy that everything worked out nicely. And I'm feeling even better now that I'm on the bike. And I'm gonna get my cardio in. <laughs> this. You don't see this too often. An OOTD? Absolutely. Today I am wearing jeans. <laughs> I got my jeans, my favorite jeans, Converse. I got tank top. I'm wearing a belt for the first time in forever. Haven't worn one in a long time because I just always wear fitness clothes. And so I'm wearing a belt. Also because the jeans are too big now because I'm changing size. <laughs> but of course, you know, I got to have my branding in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I just recorded this whole video and it wasn't recording. <laughs> Let's try this again. Sunday is a very busy day for me. It is my catch-up day, it is my off day, it is my laundry day, it is my grocery shopping day, it is my meal prep day. I do a lot of things on Sunday. I thought I would share some tips and tricks while I cut up my sweet potato that maybe you can adopt and use in your meal prepping day in the week. I used to meal prep and cook everything and I would weigh them, portion them out, and put them into nifty little containers that I buy from Costco. The containers look like this. They're the black base with the clear lid. More like to-go containers. You can buy, I think it's like 25 for 10 bucks, something crazy like that. So if this is more your groove, then definitely go check those out. I used to cook everything. I would portion everything, put them into the containers, and I would have like a stack of day one, stack of day two, stack of day three. I would split it right up into seven days. So I would have seven containers of each meal ready to go put them in the freezer and I would take out like every two to three days prior to when I needed to eat them. So when, then when it came to reheating them, I wasn't reheating them from frozen because I don't like scalding hot food because it hurts my mouth. That worked great, especially when I was not working close to home, but I had to leave early in the morning and drive to work. I would take two meals two and three with me, put them in the microwave, eat them, we're laughing. Now that I work closer to home and I don't have to travel, as far, I am doing batch cooking, where I'm cooking all of my food and I'm putting all the same food in the same container. So all the sweet potato together, all of the rice together, all of the chicken together, and I take it and I portion it and weigh it out right as I'm gonna eat it. This for me has been working really well because it gives me that satisfaction of being able to, you know, touch the food and handle the food, season it however I like, warm it up and then have it fresh and ready to go. A lot of my cooking right now, I'm not cooking with seasoning just to allow the freedom to season things however I want to in the moment 
just to suit my cravings or my needs or whatever it is. Some days I want something a little bit more sweet or a little bit more salty. That gives me the freedom to do it. When it came to protein, I used to buy the Kirkland uh, chicken breasts from Costco and the white styrofoam pack. It's like 30 bucks for I think seven or eight chicken breasts, which is great. They look humongous or they are humongous until you cook them and then they shrink down like triple the size. I stopped doing that because I felt it was very inconsistent. And the worst part about it was that there were some days where I was buying chicken, coming home, cooking it, chopping it up, portioning it, and then realizing that I was a full chicken breast and a half short. So annoying, because then as the stove is on, the oven is on, I would have to go out and go buy a pack of two or four chicken breasts, whatever was available in the store, because it would be Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, pain in the ass and to start all over again anyways i'm not about that lifestyle right now so with my protein i've been buying all my protein pre-cooked and it's been working really nicely for me for example i buy the chicken breast already cooked there's no skin there's no bones it's already like cut or torn up i take it and i put it into the dish i season it however i want same thing with my shrimp i buy the pre-cooked shrimp with the tail removed so all you have to do is just weigh it run some hot water over it, put it in the microwave or your air fryer, whatever you wanna use. I do not have a dishwasher. And even when I did have a dishwasher, I always forgot that I had the dishwasher. I do not like a dirty kitchen. It is like, like oh, just I cannot go to bed when there are uh, dishes in the sink or when the kitchen is disorganized. My kitchen is always pristine. And I like it that way and I sleep better that way. So washing dishes by hand, I've done it for years and years and years and years. I actually enjoy it. I don't like the drying part, but the washing I do like. My least favorite thing about washing dishes is the pots and the pans and the baking sheets. I hate it. I just think it's gross. I think it's messy. I, it's awkward. And like you're scrubbing and like, am I scrubbing too hard? Am I gonna take off the, uh, the Teflon? That kind of stuff, you know, it's stupid. But anyways, to not have to do that, I now go and buy the aluminum trays. Also, you can buy them from Costco. I think it's like a pack of 20. I don't even know how much it is. I forget, but they last me a long time. It's a one-time use. You oil them or you grease them, put the food on top, shove in the oven, cook it, and then you toss it. I know it does not align with this whole lifestyle that I'm trying to adopt to being uh, more sustainable or eco-friendly. However, they are recyclable. So I take a win in that. This works really well for me. And if you are in the same boat, I totally recommend that you go and grab some of these aluminum trays. They're super, super uh, versatile, whether you like to barbecue or you like to bake or you like to whatever it is. This is a great way for you to cook your food. Here's a quick tip with salad. I eat a lot of salad, a lot of lettuce. So I eat a lot of lettuce and make a lot of salads. There we go. Little trick to you. I do chop up the entire bag of lettuce and I portion it out into the different containers to whatever weight I need for that particular meal. Now, if you do this, you may find that after you wash it, you cut it and put it into the containers by like the second or third day, they're getting soggy, they're getting gross. Let me let you in on a little secret. Don't wash the lettuce. Just cut it, cut it right up. And then when it comes time to eating it, then you can wash it and then you season it and dress it however you want. Don't put wet lettuce into the container, shut it and put it into the fridge. You can still eat it, it's not the best, but when you don't wash it, chop it, put it into the containers and wash it after, it still stays crunchy and light. Another topic that has come up when I talk to my team members about nutrition is, what the heck do I eat in the week? I go grocery shopping and it's fun and it's great and I stick to the perimeter, but then when I look at my cart at the end of the shopping trip, I don't know what everything's gonna do together, like how, how you're going to prepare a meal. So my tip and trick to you is to plan, plan, plan. Write everything down. I eat the same thing every single day, not the same meal, but I have like the same meals every single day in the week. So it makes my meal plan really easy. If you know that you are at work from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m., my strongest recommendation for you is to have two meals prepped and ready to go. That makes your meal prep day a lot easier because all you're really doing is prepping like snacks and prepping a lunch. Breakfast, you can make on the fly or you can grab on the go. And then dinner, especially with a family, you can make dinner together or make dinner and enjoy it with your family. When you plan and you write everything down, it gives you a really great idea of what your week looks like. I remember growing up as a kid, my dad used to have the meals listed on the fridge 
for the week so then when he went grocery shopping he would know what to buy and he'd stuck with that throughout the the week for years and years and years so we knew that on sunday we would have fish for dinner we knew that on wednesday night we would have pasta for dinner on saturday night that was mom's night she would make homemade pizza so this has been i guess something i've been kind of uh learning and growing with ever since i was a kid be super prepared with your planning already have an idea of what your lunch and your snack midday snack is going to look like i say snack because you have your lunch hour when you're at work and sometimes you want to snack before or after it will be a game changer when it comes to guilt eating so when you're out and you're like oh no i'm in a rush i need to get something oh there's mcdonald's oh there's starbucks okay i'll just grab whatever and i'll go like, on my way if you bring a snack with you there's no opportunity for that and you're also going to save money because buying snacks a coffee and a sandwich or a juice and a granola bar it's still going to cost you upwards of ten dollars depending where you're shopping save the money save the time save the guilt bring a snack with you know what you want to have for dinners if you have a family ask the family okay guys what do you guys want for dinner this week you have three kids there's three different options so your partner in there and you're laughing stay organized stay on top of your eating it is priority remember what i said in the previous video nutrition really is the key putting nutrition and your exercise together that is like the cherry on the cake that is the secret sauce even though it's not a secret because there's no trick to it it's just it's just basic science basic math <laughs> i'm just gonna wrap up my meal prep and then I am going to start my laundry. And then maybe I'll sneak in some snuggles from this little guy down here, Henry, right? Where's your head? Oh, way down there. Oh, that's awkward. There you go. There he is. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hopefully that you learned something from uh, some of these tips, some of these practices that I do. If anything works for you, please let me know. And if you think something works better for you that I haven't mentioned or that I haven't tried, let me know as well.